a cucumber field, 500 acres of produce, resting under the hot sun and ready for harvest. Located on Roberts Island in the Delta, just eight miles from Stockton. Luis Magana's office for the day. His mission, helping farm workers with anything they need. Today, he's handing out face coverings to help protect against the coronavirus and encouraging workers to get their COVID vaccinations. Some of them are vaccinated already. Luis comes out to the fields at least three times a week to make sure workers have various necessities to do their job safely, to ensure safety protocols are in place and to pass along any resources they may need. The 65-year-old advocate is not always welcomed by landowners. Part of his work includes exposing lack of access to basic needs. They question me, what you do it? They treat me, okay, well, you don't leave, we call the sheriff. If you don't leave, we will bring a dogs and will destroy you. These threats are not new to Luis. He and his family came to Stockton from Michoacan, Mexico in 1967. His father was a bracero, one of thousands of Mexicans hired to work in the United States during World War II. The program guaranteed decent living conditions and pay. Luis says that didn't happen. Braceros were housed in overcrowded shacks, cheated out of pay, subjected to racism, and some enslaved. He told me many stories, and I feeling how they don't change the situation. Then I become a farm worker and don't see too much difference of that story. Following in his father's footsteps, for 30 years, Luis picked and planted in the San Joaquin Valley. Luis says decades later, it's the same fight. Well, now we have a... Uh, issues in the community, racism, uh, discrimination, uh, lack of opportunities to study our kids. Issues have only gotten worse during the pandemic. They're treated like slavery to many people that uh, don't are respected to the people, don't, don't say you are a good worker, you produce for us, don't recognize the society. Uh, uh, they're becoming uh, uh, Ali or the low payments or the lack of safety in the fields. Who cares? Nobody cares. While working in the fields, he organized numerous strikes that he said led to increased pay. Luis tells me about some of the problems and challenges workers face today. They bring water, but li limit the time to get the water. People can have an accident in these machines. The other day, two weeks ago, in tomato machine, Found young farm workers, 20 years, uh, have an accident. He says the work can also be deadly. Very often, now it's very much more common, but they said, what happened to, to Juan, to Maria? Oh, they have a stroke. No one truly knows how many people have lost their lives working in these fields. According to Luis, deaths, even injuries, often go unreported by landowners. Because of that, he educates workers on the importance of knowing their rights. My concern is the safety because there's a lot of people who get accidents. There's people who injured in the fields and they didn't, don't report to, to Cal OSHA or to workers camp. They just reported a few. So, so, and they don't know that that has to be reported. So I try to change that culture, that reported, not just for you, for all the working workers. They're multi-families. That's where council member Kimberly Wormsley comes in. Luis is an icon and an inspiration in our community. He is a trusted partner. A lot of people come in. She's meeting with Luis to discuss the best way to get farm workers vaccinated. Luis and I talked about having a mobile vaccine come out. She's hoping a new campaign, We Vax, will help turn the tide. We, unfortunately, as a district, represent more deaths, not only in the city of Stockton, but also San Joaquin County. And so it's very troubling times. Having fought alongside civil rights activist Cesar Chavez and countless others, Luis has become a trusted advocate in the Hispanic community. It's why he's at the forefront in the messaging of this campaign. We're living in a time where people are 
uh, distrustful of government. And so what better way to get the message out from a partner who is grassroots. Although progress is being made, Luis knows there's still a long way to go. He remains hopeful that one day there will be no more injustices. So every day when I wake up, I said, I want to go, I am going to this place, to other place, to at least to do something, to a little change. Ya quieren más, más. Reporting in Stockton, Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News. Luis Magana says he wants lawmakers to meet with advocates on the farms where they work to better understand the working conditions that they're dealing with.